The biggest difference is that Johnson & Johnson's vaccine only requires one dose. That makes it much easier to give in remote areas and other places where getting people back for that second dose might be difficult. But that is just one of the differences. The J&J vaccine can be stored in a normal refrigerator, making it easier to transport. Unlike Pfizer and Moderna's, it's not an mRNA vaccine. Instead, the Johnson & Johnson vaccine uses a harmless weakened cold virus to carry genetic instructions into the body to trigger the immune response. It's based on a method developed a decade ago and previously used to make an Ebola vaccine. Johnson & Johnson CEO Alex Gorski is a native Michigander. He used this Motown metaphor to explain their approach. So think of it almost as a car being made in Detroit with a basic chassis that had been used. And we, and we took different types of an interior, put it in for COVID-19. The Johnson & Johnson vaccine has been tested nearly 44,000 people in the U.S., Latin America, and South Africa. There were no major side effects reported, including no allergic reactions. The vaccine was 72% effective at preventing moderate and severe COVID symptoms in the U.S. It was 85% effective at preventing the most serious symptoms. That is less effective than the Pfizer and Moderna vaccines that are roughly 95% effective. But experts note those vaccines were also tested earlier, before more variants may have been circulating. The Johnson & Johnson vaccine was just 57% effective against the South African strain, but no one in the trials who received the Johnson & Johnson vaccine went to the hospital or died of COVID. The way I think about this vaccine is it helps 100% of people. It either stops you from getting COVID um, or it helps you, uh, if you get COVID, have a much milder version of COVID. In fact, South Africa is already rolling out the J&J &J vaccine. South Africa had planned to use the Oxford AstraZeneca vaccine, but after it was found to be ineffective against the South African variant that's dominant there, the decision was made to switch to Johnson & Johnson. The safety result look amazing, and um, the interim uh, efficacy results for Johnson & Johnson also look promising, especially in light of the new variant that is circulating in South Africa. Henry Ford Hospital in Detroit was also one of the clinical trial sites for the J&J &J vaccine, so many Metro Detroiters have already received this vaccine. Now, Johnson & Johnson is also running an additional clinical trial to test the effects of giving a second dose of their vaccine. Those results are expected this spring.